talking today at the game called uh, Masquerade. Now, Masquerade is a uh, multiplayer bluffing game um, where uh, the players take on the role of a feudal court. Uh, each player has got uh, a card in front of them um, and that card is face down. Uh, the cards are actually all dealt out to all the players and there can be uh, somewhere anywhere between 2 and 13 players. Uh, although ideally it's uh, best to have at least four players uh, and the roles of the cards actually change depending on how many players there are the more complicated cards don't come in until you've got sort of 10 plus players um, each of the players at the beginning of the game is dealt a singular card and it's put up face up in front of them so everyone gets to see who everybody is um, there's a whole range of different players like the the king uh, and the queen um, and the peasant uh, and the bishop and so you kind of get the idea of the, the feudal court um, each of the different cards has a different ability and the abilities of the different uh, cards come into play uh, when you declare uh, who you are now the trick with this game is that um, in the first four rounds of the game the players actually spend their time swapping the cards um, so um, the cards all get swapped around and moved from one person to another and so there comes a point in the game where you can't be entirely sure which role is in front of you. Now, you might have started off the game with the king in front of you, and everyone knows that because it was face up. But when it gets flipped over and some of the cards get to be swapped, you can't be sure. You've got to kind of watch where the cards have gone and, and what's happened with them. Now, if you were the king and you declared yourself to be the king, then you would get uh, three gold coins. You can see that there, king plus three. Um, but... Uh, and if you were uh, uncontested as the king, you said, I, I'm the king, uh, and nobody was prepared to actually contest that, uh, then you would just pick up three coins from the centre. And here's the lovely coins here. You can see them. Oops, let me just hold them out so you can see them there. Look at that. Beautiful coins. Um, however, if somebody else thought that they might be the king, then um, they could contest that. They could say, no, 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 I'm the king. You're not the king, I'm the king. And so... Um, if uh, the, the contest actually occurs, both players will actually flip their card over. Now, whoever is actually the king uh, gets to use the, the ability, even if it's not their turn. So if I contested that you weren't the king, I'd get three coins because I could prove that I was the king. And then I would actually also be sure of the fact. But if I um, wasn't the king, then what would follow is that I would be fined and I'd put some, um, some coins into the courthouse and the courthouse would start out of money. I'm more about the courthouse in a little while. Now, in you go, each person as it goes around, they actually have the opportunity to do one of three things. They could swap their card. So this action allows them to secretly swap their card with that of another player. So it's basically just reach across, one card swaps with another card, then it's swapped. Neither player gets to look at the card when it's swapped, they just swap positions. Um, they can look at their card, so that is, take the card from the table and actually go, hmm, what's my card? Hmm, oh yes, there it is, good, good. put it back. Or um, they can announce their card. Now, as I said with the king before, announcing your card means that you um, make the card happen, that you want it to have happen, and, and, uh, and it works from there. Um, now, if um, uh, you had a different kind of role, uh, let's just say you had the role of uh, the thief, the thief would take one gold coin from a player to their left and one coin from the player to their right. So they're kind of stealing, stealing them. Um, and so uh, you actually can um, uh, engage in the game in the different roles and uh, take those. Now, one particular card is quite interesting. It's called the cheat. Now, unlike all the other players um, who are aiming to get 13 of these coins, which I showed you before, um, the, um, the cheat only actually has to get 10. And so as soon as the cheat's got 10 players, they actually um, can, um, can demonstrate that they've actually got the cheat and they win the game. Likewise, if any player runs out of coins altogether, if somebody goes bankrupt, then, um, then uh, the game also ends and the number of coins is counted up and the person with the most coins wins. So it's a fairly uh, basic um, uh, bluffing game. And it's uh, a lot of fun. Um, I will be saving this one, so if you um, want to go back to the beginning and have a look at it, you can. 
um, and uh, that's um, that'll be fine. Um, and uh, if you've got any comments you'd like to leave, then uh, please feel free to leave them. I'm going to try and do one of these maybe once a week. It's probably going to be on a Wednesday afternoon or a Thursday. Um, so, um, yeah, um, until uh, I see you again, um, keep on gaming.